Today I'm going to challenge you to, to man up and uh, figure out what it is you really believe in. And we're, we're going to talk about the, the U.S. government's flag today. And this is something that I've debated with a number of, of people. And here, here's the challenge. I see the U.S. government's flag, the Stars and Stripes, and I see a flag that the government puts in front of its buildings. It puts on its stationery. It puts on its employees' shoulder patches. It is a government symbol. And then I see a bunch of people that go out and spend their own hard-earned money to buy this symbol, this flag, this sky cloth that waves up in the, in the sky. They, they go spend their own money for this symbol, this logo that belongs to another organization, to the United States government. And then they say that, oh no, this doesn't mean that to me. It means freedom and it means all the things that I care about. And it means that I, I care about uh, liberty, freedom, uh, my children growing up to be strong children and my wife being beautiful and men being men and and it's that's what it means to me. Well, you're using somebody else's logo and that logo belongs, or this symbol, I'll call it a logo, this symbol, logo, belongs to the United States government. And so you, you can't just, well, I guess you can, but it's kind of silly you have to admit, to take somebody else's logo and say, well, no, it means something else to me. That would be like taking the, the, the Star of David and saying, well, no, to me it means uh, gay Islamic people. Well, no, that's been claimed by the Jews. The Jews have claimed the Star of David. That belongs to them. That's their logo. That's their property. That's their uh, I mean, there's no such thing as intellectual property, but that, that thing, that symbol, has been widely known as and used by uh, a, a, the symbol of, of being a Jew, Judaism. And that belongs to the Jewish people. And so the United States government's flag belongs to the United States government. And why would someone take the same flag that flies in front of the IRS building and then put that on their shirt or their hat and say, well, no, 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 to me it means that my great-great-grandfather fought so that we could have, you know, cheaper oil or, or to get rid of the brown people in the Philippines or whatever it was. It, it means he fought for our freedom. No, that's not what the flag is. The flag is a symbol of the United States government. If you don't like that, go get your own symbol that means something else. But that belongs to them. And when they, they, the United States government, this corporate entity, this organization, when it goes out and does something and it hires employees and then it puts a patch on their shoulder and it hands them this symbol and says, hey, wave this around a bunch and maybe even every so often put it on a flagpole and raise it up and get a bunch of you to do it and it'll look really cool and we can make monuments of it. When, when the government tries to get people to do this, don't be a sucker. Realize that this is their symbol. This is not your symbol, this is their symbol. If you choose to have the United States government flag on your car bumper sticker, on your hat, on your shirt, then admit it. Just say, I love the government. Just admit it. Admit that that is your thing. You are a subject. You are a citizen of a government. You are an underling. There is a ruling class. There, there's a master class. And that is the government. And they run you. Admit it. And then say, hey, I'm proud to be ruled by this government. And that's why I proudly wave around this flag that is the symbol, the logo of the government. What excuse do you have for doing that if you claim to want freedom, independence, human autonomy, uh, all the good things in life? No. What excuse do you have? 
here's my challenge. Go out and get a different logo, get a different flag. And yeah, it'll probably be taken over by somebody, but don't go into a strong organization and try to take over Walmart's logo or Microsoft's logo or Apple's logo or the United States government's logo or the Star of David. No, that's somebody else's. Leave it alone, come up with your own, and don't, don't be silly. Don't be silly and do something like wave the flag at the same time you, you say you care about freedom. Don't be ridiculous, right? <laughs>